This is The Lock Became Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a lock that was more than a bit disappointing. It's Multilocks model SBNE12 sliding bolt padlock, and I'm going to do something unusual. I'm not going to show you the most important flaw. I'm just going to pick and gut the lock, then you can follow the link in the pinned comment to a video by my friend Trevor McNally. He discovered the issue and will demonstrate it as only he can. So let's get to picking and I'm going to be using a custom pick given to me by a friend. He wishes to remain anonymous, but you know who you are and thank you very much. Okay, nothing on one, two, three, four. I'm just looking at outer pins right now. Click out of five, back to the beginning. A little click out of the outer pin on one, nothing on two. Nothing on three, click out of the outer pin on four, nothing on five, back to the beginning, nothing on one, nice click out of the outer pin on two, actually two clicks there, a little counter rotation on two, nice click on the outer pin there, nothing on four or five. Inner pin on one is binding tightly. Nice click out of that, and our false set is even deeper. Nice click out of the inner pin on two. We're probably getting pretty close. Our false set is very deep at this point. Nothing on three, four. Okay, inner pin on five. Nice click there. Two clicks. And we are probably really close right now. Let's see, inner pin on two, and we got this open. Okay, certainly above average in pick resistance. If you wanna see what's inside, keep watching. If you wanna see McNally open this in just a second or two, click the link in the pinned comment. Okay, to get this apart, we first need to remove the shackle. You can do that by Sticking a pick right down this hole, rotating the shackle, and then it should come right out. And once we get all the pieces out, they are what is holding the core in, so the core slides right out. Now I'm going to get a Phillips screwdriver and remove these two screws on the back. And all we need is the key and a follower. And we should be able to remove the plug. Being very careful not to, to lose any of the pins here. There's a little piece of drill protect protection, a small ball bearing in the side. Dump that out. Now let's dump all of these key pins out, then we can organize them. Okay, looks like we have a spooled key pin in slot one. Standard in slot two, same in three, another spooled key pin in slot four, and a standard in slot five. And all of the inner pins look fairly normal. Let's go ahead and take out the driver pins now. Okay, spooled inner and outer pins on the first. Spooled inner pin and standard outer pin on the second. Spooled inner and outer on three. Same on four. And the same on five as well. And there's one thing I do want to check. Sure, you can see there's a tiny bit of counter milling inside the outer pin. 
that locks up with the spooled inner pin and can make picking very difficult. It's a great anti-pick feature. Okay, I think you can see why these are above average in pick resistance. The inner and outer pin combination can be really tricky if you are not experienced with it. That's all I have for you today. Once again, go on over to Trevor McNally's channel. I will provide a link in the description and the pinned comment, and you can see what they did wrong when they designed this lock. And I have to say, it's a fairly large blunder. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.